I can't imagine a situation that this would be useful in, uh, but it's a slime and honey block mechanical sorter. So we have a line of mixed slime and honey blocks being pushed in. Uh, I have some command blocks here. Those are just generating new slime or honey blocks randomly right there. And they get pushed into this machine and it'll actually detect if the next block in the line is honey or slime. And depending on what it is, it'll move it into one of these two columns on the side here. The way we do this detection is using the conductivity of the block. So if you power a slime block and then have a piston next to it, that piston will extend. But if you power a honey block, I, this might be a Java only thing, um, but if you power a honey block and have a piston next to it, the piston won't do anything. So you can see every time a new block is pushed in here, we're pushing an observer and a piston up against it and then detecting whether or not that piston fires. So if this piston does fire and we have a slime block, it'll activate this observer, which in turn will activate this redstone line, update this budded piston, and send zero ticks to both of these slime blocks. That allows these two pistons to actually detach a slime block from you know any other slime blocks it's attached to. And then oppositely, if this piston does not extend, so we have a honey block, then there's a little pulse traveling over and up top through this block here. This block gets extended, breaking the circuit if we have a slime block, uh, but it remains in place if we have a honey. So if so, then this redstone dust uh, actually is updating this sticky piston here. Um, <laughs> I reshaped this quite a bit because I got all the main circuitry fitting in a seven by seven by seven cube. I'm very happy about that. Up top, I just have some uh, command blocks deleting the slime and honey blocks uh, that have been sorted. That's it. Thanks for watching.